We're talking about so much in the markets right now, whether it's concentration or momentum. I just want to bounce something off of you. Uh, Wolf Research out with a note yesterday, and I want to get your take on it. Um, basically, the title of it was Stick with Momentum in the MAG7 over the summer, you know, <laughs> putting it out there. Uh, they said, in part, our sense is that volatility will continue to pick up over the summer. However, we expect this to generally benefit the MAG7 secular growers and the overall momentum trade. They go on to say a bit more, expecting those same companies to have a strong Q2 earnings season. Agree or disagree? I would agree with that. Uh, we're currently overweight U.S. stocks and particularly favoring high quality growth. I think um, the reason why is because the macro environment is currently OK, but we're starting to see some weakness in the U.S. data, some subsidy in consumer spending, et cetera. And I think in this kind of environment, I think investors would prefer to hold stocks that are uh, irrespective of the business cycle, irrespective of whether the Fed is going to cut, irrespective of whether the economy slow down. And, and what you get is from the US mega cap tax stocks, because you've got uh, strong balance sheets, all the strong fund fundamentals grow, uh, going, the profits, and also you, you've got secular theme of growth and innovation. So I think um, investors are likely to be still favoring positioning like that in an e economic okay. environment that is uh, gently slowing and uh, a little bit of uncertainty on the So Fed, Janet, uh, speaking outlook. of investors, uh, we got the results of our quarterly CNBC delivering alpha survey. They're out right now. We're asking Portfolio and other money managers what their best investment idea is heading into the third quarter. So nearly half say big cap tech. We just talked about that, followed by energy, healthcare, the S&P 500, and then down at the bottom of the list, 6% say industrials. What do you think about the results of this survey? Well, it's interesting. I think we're not too dissimilar, actually. I mentioned that we are overweight in U.S. stocks, especially big tech. And actually, we have a favorable uh, long position in semiconductor stocks across the, the value chain. And at the same time, we also feel that energy stocks are a good hedge against uh, overweight in U.S. because they have very different uh, characteristics. And when one tends to go up, one tends to, you know, maybe opposite uh, in the opposite direction. So they effectively act as a hedge, and it happened over the past couple of years as well. So um, this uh, means we are turning more favorable on UK stocks. In fact, we raised our uh, weighting in US stocks uh, a while ago because of its high weighting in uh, energy stocks, and also generally 50% uh, of that uh, UK index is uh, on know, the defensive Gina, side. So I, I, I think it's about, a hedge. I want to talk about another area that you're actually long in, which is energy. Yeah. Um, so yeah. a lot of talk about energy, um, a lot of talk about energy in general needed for, you know, AI. In fact, the CEO of the Southern mm -hmm. Company out yesterday saying we need to build up our nuclear capabilities to meet all this energy demand. But I'm, I'm just looking at the charts. The energy sector is actually down this quarter. Utilities seem to be getting the gain from all this talk about energy. How are you playing energy? Um, where are you seeing the opportunities? Yeah, we generally recommend uh basket of global energy major stocks. I think primarily I mentioned as a portfolio hedge, uh, and that is really against a uh, hedge against the inflationary downturn potential. But at the same time, our analysts believe that you know the the fundamentals of this global energy major companies have actually improved. For example, they are much more disciplined in their capital deployment. Okay. And there, there's evidence they're returning more cash to shareholders. So I think that is you know, actually the main thesis of that investment. You know, Janet, we, we got to get going. But just when you say global energy majors, just one example. Is there one name that, that so we can just kind of peg the idea to a company? You know, in the UK, the uh, major all majors will be BP and Shell, right? In the US, okay. that, that would be the big ones like Chevron. But I'm not advocating any individual stocks. But Understood. we're advocating, you know, uh, a basket of these global energy majors.